Angelo and welcome again to Angela's Live Thoughts. Um, something else that came to mind. Well, I was asked by Mel if I would consider getting married again. Well, first of all, I was married before for at least 22 years. Um, I did not have the the best time in that relationship, I'll say. It was not, I did not have a fun partner. Um, it was not, we did not agree on um, what a, a marriage should be with one another. So since it wasn't agreed upon, it did not last. It lasted for 22 years, but it did not last and it didn't need to. So I'll say that. I'm not against marriage at all. Not at all against it. But I'm not certain at this point in my life um, if it's for me. Um, like I said, again, not against it at all. I don't know. I already said before that I was on Facebook dating. And I um, figure I'll dive off into that again. Um, I get very bored very quickly because a lot of times the comments are so mundane um, the conversation goes nowhere, so I get bored. So I jump off of it. So I decided recently to get back on there. But anyway, um, I'm not against, like I said, I'm not against marriage at all. It's just that I'm not sure that I really need to have that legally binding um, public record of a marriage to still have a great relationship with somebody that I have this great chemistry with, um, great energy, a good connection, just a fit, just a fit like in a puzzle, you know, a perfect fit for me, for each other, um, in a puzzle. I don't think this, po I, I don't think that I have to go that route. And I've been told that, well, you know, um, if something should happen to this person that you, build with and share this time with and this life with, you know, don't you want to be protected? Because he could have um, kids or maybe a wife before that or whatever it might be um, joining his um, finances or whatever he has going on for himself um, that somebody else can get to. Well, I'm pretty sure there are documents, legal documents that he can set in place to make sure that I'm protected. And also, you know, draw up a will. Whatever it is that he can set, in, set forth, set in place to protect the life that we built together, I believe that those things are possible. Only thing is, I don't think at this point I could be like on his insurance. I work myself. I have great insurance where I work. So I don't think that's a big deal. And if it came down to it, if it, I got older and stuff like that, they have, you know, state insurance or whatever. If that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. Or purchase it off whatever those little banks that they have, I guess, online or whatever. Search for the type of coverage I need. But anyway, like I said, I don't think that is necessary because it doesn't solidify a great relationship or the best relationship just because you're married. Um, it doesn't take away the, the, the connection and the commitment that you choose to have with that person. is going to basically be the main thing that you're thinking about in the relationship that should have solidified in the relationship before that legal document is even um, put in place. I don't think that I really, I need that. So like I said, again, not against it at all. Not certain if at this point in my life, if that's necessary for me. So kind of want to know your thoughts on that about do you think a piece of paper, a legal documentation of marriage um, is something necessary? Not for me, because I'm not asking you for that for me, because when it comes down to my life, I'm going to be the one that's going to make that choice and decide. But just want to know your thoughts on it. Let me know. All right. Thank you. Bye.